A D S R Pro. Hi guys, welcome back to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Continuing looking at the new Cubase 9.5 features, and this time we're going to have a quick look at the direct offline processing. Now this feature for me is absolutely killer, and yeah, it's it's definitely, definitely going to be uh, very, very useful within my environment anyway. So basically what we can do is we can select a loop, any audio region, press F7 for the keyboard shortcut, Alternatively, you can go to the audio menu and direct offline processing. And what that does is open up this box. And as you can see here, we can select our plugin. I'm going to leave auto apply ticked. This basically uh, applies the effect immediately. So let's select a plugin and let's just go for dynamics. And this time, let's just do a let's do an envelope shaper. And you, you saw straight away the loop altered. Obviously, messing with the controls, you can hear it's it's changing the audio. Let's, there we go. What I did there was. I just selected the play button within the direct offline process and if you actually use the play button or the transport function within Cubase it takes a, a little bit of time to process so select this little audition button and you can hear what's going on. Let's add another plugin. Um, let's go for something that you can, can hear possibly let's go reverb. kind of nice let's add a delay in fact that'll do now as you can see there also it allows you to be able to move the processes around which is perfect. Uh, I actually didn't think it'd do that. I just thought I'd try that. So for instance, uh, I didn't really want a reverb on the delay effects. Basically, I'd sooner have the delay and the delay going into the reverb. And let's increase the reverb a bit. So there you go. That's basically the offline processing uh, process. Do I find this feature useful? Absolutely. As you can see straight away, um, it allows you to create uh, quite complex sounds without creating uh, different inserts on the audio channel itself. And like I say, you can you can shape a very basic sound into and sculpt it into something that's really really interesting very very quickly with the offline processing feature. And the beauty of it, again, is it's non-destructible. So these are always here, and you can mute, bypass, if you like, each individual one. And as you can see straight away, every time I change one of these, the audio has been affected. So really, really handy feature and uh, an excellent. This, for me, is worth the upgrade fee alone. So hope you found this interesting, and please do subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye-bye. A D S R. Pro.